I guess I just plant my right foot on the accelerator. Let's let's find out. Oh, oh. dude, it's literally peeing down. <sighs> We have to te take a temporary break um, to avoid the rain, come in and shelter for a little bit because it's pretty bad out there at the moment. So bear with me for a sec. So at the moment I'm in sport. Oh. <laughs> right, should we start this again? Um, the rain has finally stopped. So we're all well and good. I'm not looking like a drowned rat. I want to say a big shout out and thank you to Cotswold BMW for lending me this i4 M50 to review on the channel. So if you're in the Cheltenham area, the Gloucester area, and you're looking for a BMW, hit these guys up. Um, Tom has very kindly arranged this for me, so big shout out to Tom. He's also printed out the spec sheet, given me some stats that I can help kind of give you guys on this car, because I've never been in an EV before. I have kind of, okay, that's actually a lie. I have driven a base model Tesla, but I've never driven a performance EV and this will be the first one. So I'm looking forward to it. EV being EV, we know it's going to be fast in a straight line, instant torque, um, but I want to experience that for myself. And so what you're going to be watching today is my first impressions on this car. Um, and maybe we can have a little talk about and a little comparison between this and an M4 competition because this is specced up to about 65,000 pounds. An M4 competition, around about 75, so about 10 grand less. If you're talking PCP, I imagine residuals on the M car would be a little bit better. This is an M Lite, by the way, i4 M50. Now, I wasn't sure when this car came out whether it was a full fat M car um, or is it an M Lite because on the mirror caps, we've got M style mirror caps, so that would tell me it's an M car. But then if it was an M car, it would be called an I40M, I imagine. Um, but it's not, it's an M light confirmed by BMW. So do you buy this or an M4 competition? You've got rear wheel drive on the M4 competition or you can get the X drive um, that's just come out. You've also uh, got an M3 Touring that's now available, but that's a different story. Um, this is four wheel drive, rear drive bias though. So you're kind of competing with the X drive M4 maybe, um, but this is again cheaper at 65,000 pounds. Power, 544 horsepower and 800 Newton meters of torque. So already that's more than the M4 competition. It's heavier though at 2,290 kg. So it's a, it's a big boy, um, not to 60, 3.9 seconds with a top speed of 140 miles an hour. Range, 258 to about 320 WCTP, whatever t that means, Tom. Um, I imagine that's how many miles you get out of the car. Um, 258 to 300 miles. It's wearing the M Performance upgraded gold alloys. I love these, it looks great. Contrasts nicely with the black and the gold. But other than that, it's a Grand Coupe. So it's not like your standard four series. The boot opens like a hatchback. So if I can just show you guys, and we'll have a little close up walk around in a sec. Uh, got the key here and it's starting to rain again. How do I do this? There you go. Grand Coupe. It's like a hatchback style. So I can touch the back seat passengers if I want to. Um, and I've got loads of luggage space. Other than that, it's an electric car. You need to charge it up. 150 kilowatts is the fast charging. If you use the slower charging 70 kilowatt charger, it takes 13 hours to charge up the whole thing, which is ludicrous. Um, one battery at the back, one battery at the front. Let's it's starting to, to rain again. So let's do a little quick walk around, close up, and then we'll hop in and go for a drive. So here we go. Here's a little bit of a closer look at these very gorgeous M Performance gold wheels. I really like those actually. Um, they're very, very nice. This is cool as well. The, the pillar remains on the car. So when you open the door, it stays there. And then say if I open the rear door, that pillar remains there. So you've got these kind of pillarless doors, which are actually quite cool. Um, there's a child seat at the back. Not much room, I don't think, um, for rear passengers. But what I really want to talk about, lovely sexy door handles, is the interior. This is the new interior, which you will find in the new G-Series M2 
competition. It's now all a screen, kind of looks like a Mercedes A-Class. Let's walk around the other side so um, we can have a proper look without the steering wheel in the way. Yeah, they've upgraded the interior, so it looks very modern now. You've got a lot of rain on, on the lens, and I'll clean that in a sec, but let's get inside. Uh, this is what they've upgraded the interior to. Do I like it? Um, no, being a driver and enjoying, you know, driver-focused cars and analog, um, I don't really like it. It's great that it's all in 4K, it's touchscreen, it looks very nice, it's absolutely huge. Um, but as you're driving along with one hand on the steering wheel and trying to change settings, I think it would be a massive issue, even just to kind of change the, the air con, the heat, um, the radio. It's not going to be great as you're going over bumps trying to do this with your left hand, but it looks good, so I'll give them that one. Other than that, it's pretty standard 4 Series, really. Um, you know what you're getting, it's typical. BMW so let's go out for a spin so let's go out for a spin and I'm going to show you my my first time experience with this i4 M50 I actually filmed a M4 competition in Sao Paulo yellow um, about a year ago now again lent to me by the guys at Cotswold BMW so if you want to watch that video go and click here up here and you can see what my genuine thoughts of that car are. So I'm gonna have that car in my head as I'm driving this, because if I were to spend 65, 70 grand, would I get a full fat M car or embrace the future and go with the i4 M50? Hmm, good question. Let's have a look. And I've realized I haven't actually shown you guys the front. So this is the front covered in rain. It's very smart. It's got the standard new grill on the G-Series um, uh, 4 Series cars. Obviously there's no engine so this doesn't, uh, it's not open because there's no air that needs to flow in to cool the engine down. Um, it's a smart car. I mean, yeah, it, yeah the, the Grand Coupe has always been confusing for me in general because it's a a 4 Series is a coupe version of a 3 Series sedan but then they made the 4 Series Coupe into a saloon based on a 3 Series, which was already a saloon. Really confusing. So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it looks very smart, actually. I quite like it. Now let's hop in. All right. We are in, locked and loaded in the, M, in the M4. In the I4 M50i. M, I4 M50, so confusing. Um, I don't know if you heard that. There's a nice Hans Zimmer startup. Aircon's coming on. It's lovely and comfy. I've got um, heads up display. It's a comfy place to be. Now, how do we do this? Actually, I will comment, it looks exactly the same as a standard 4 Series. And what BMW have done really well here is where a lot of manufacturers are designing electric cars, when they do, they make their cars look really futuristic. Um, they try and make it super quirky, look like it's something out of a movie that's from the year 3000. But what BMW have done here is they've made it still look like a 4 Series. And I really like that because if I'm buying an electric car, I don't want to stand out and make it look like I'm driving something futuristic from Guardians of the Galaxy or whatever. I want to look like I'm still driving a car like everyone else. I've just got a different motor that's powering my vehicle. That's just me personally. I don't know, some people might be different depending on styling. Styling is all um, dependent on what you do and don't like, right? Um, but I like this. I, look I like that it looks like a standard 4 Series. What they've done here, BMW, well done. Everything, the interior is exactly what I'm used to. Um, it looks slightly different because I've never had a G Series BMW, but here we go. Look, down here, like a ZF gearbox. Put it into drive. You're welcome. Be quiet, BMW. Um, and we'll be, we're going. Oh, comfy wafter. The brakes are interesting. It's like a button. It's quite squishy, but you press on it and you do stop quite a bit. It does, you can't really feel how much you're pressing. Let's go down here. Oh, interesting. Okay. <laughs> The brakes are a little bit hard to get used to. It's like a button, I can't work out how much I'm pressing. 
steering is light. Got that futuristic -y sound. Well done, Hans Zimmer. So Hans Zimmer is actually um, a very famous music producer. Producer. Um, he made a, lo a load of the uh, songs from a lot of famous movies, such as Inception, for example. Um, and he helped design the fake cabin sound that's pumped into the vehicle here, which is quite cool. So, would you, back to the question, would you, because, you know, an M4 competition is only a 10 grand or so more than this, would you buy this for an M4 competition? Um, straight off the bat, an M4 is 100% set up to be a better driver's car. This is like so light. The steering is so light. Um, oh dear, okay, that's quick. Um, <laughs> let's go down here. It's definitely not, the, the, the handling is not set up like an M car. So on track, this is definitely gonna struggle. It's gonna oversteer so much. But as a comfy wafter, I like this. This is cool. It's a bit bright, let's put my sunglasses on, but that's covered in rain. Um, okay, all right. It's got some instant power, obviously EV. Ooh, okay. There's three settings here actually that Tom was telling me. Um, three drive modes. You've got, I think, normal, uh, or comfort, uh, it's kind of labelled Eco Pro. So what does that do? Oh, so you do have you have Eco Pro, which I imagine is what regenerative, regenerative braking is where you brake and it recharges the battery. Um, it won't be the same as my M140s Eco Pro. We've got Comfort, which is what I was already in before, and then Sport, and then Sport has basically two modes. Actually, you've got Sport and Sport Boost. Sport Boost is the big boy, that's the one where it uses all of the battery power to give you as much launch as you need. So at the moment I'm in sport. Oh, <laughs> instant, instant power. Um, braking, you've got a different sound. So as you take off, the sound goes up. I don't know if you can hear that as you brake, the sound goes down. Cool. Now that I'm in sport, actually, the steering has stiffened up. Now, is that kind of their fake way of adding weight to the steering to, to stiffen it up, or is it actually stiffened up? Um, probably a bit of both. It's definitely easier to drive now. It, it feels more locked in. It's so quiet in here. Ooh, okay. <laughs> It's really quiet in here. It's so strange not having an engine, not having that. It's just tire noise. And I think that's why this is such a comfy cruiser. It's addictive though. Um, right, let's, let's get a bit of empty road and we'll do a launch. And I can give you my first impressions. Right, so I've found a very quiet straight road now. Let's try the launch control. <laughs> I guess I just plant my right foot on the accelerator. Let's let's find out. Oh, oh, oh okay. <laughs> Lightheaded. What was what I got up to like what? 20 miles an hour? Really lightheaded. I I was quite scared then. Um, Let's do one more. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Wow. I think this will give the M4 a run for its money in a straight line. But an M4 will be better and more fun to drive on track and around corners. I think when you clicked on this video, you already knew the answer to my question. M4 or i4 M50. If you like driving and you're a driver, 
and you want to drive his car M4 competition all day long. I mean, let's even talk about money and residuals. Residual, most people buy their cars on PCP. Residual values are going to be better. The monthlies are going to be a lot less on an M4. I don't know, contact Cotswold BMW for a proper quote. Um, being an electric car, I, we, we've still got an issue where batteries, how are they going to get replaced? Do you buy, would you even buy a 10 year old electric car? Probably not. So residuals aren't going to be that good. So money wise, an M4 makes sense. Handling wise, fun wise, an M4 makes sense. I'm kind of comparing apples to oranges as well because although this is the most best performance i4 that you can buy today it's not really a track car you would kind of want to wait for an i4m really that would be a better comparison maybe this is a better comparison against the 440i but this is the top level i4 you can buy the top level m4 you is, is an m is a four series you can buy ice car is an m4 so that's kind of why i'm comparing them today and if you want a comfy cruiser, that's an EV, that's a 4 Series, this is the one, and you want to go down electric cars and, and experience the tech of electric and then start to embrace electric cars, this is the one, and you'll still have that fun because it's got the performance side of it, but if you love your cars and you enjoy driving, an M4 competition is the one to get. It's dried up now as well. It's not that it's not be, it's not raining anymore. Um, the roads are a little bit wet, but we're running Continentals as well, not Michelin Pilot 4S's. So I want to be careful a little bit. This isn't my car either. I'm not going to be drifting it round corners, testing out that rear bias all-wheel drive system. But first impressions, I'm actually impressed. BMW, well done on an i4. Um, this is brilliant. This is this would be a brilliant daily second car to my gt4 gt4 for the weekend this as a comfy wafter soaks up all the bumps an m4 tries to take me on on the motorway no chance mate you're not catching me so thank you very much for watching everybody um, if you're new to the channel please subscribe comment let me know what you think like the video um, and again, shout out to Cotswold BMW again for lending me this car. Thank you very much. Make sure to check them out. They've got some awesome stock as well. M4 GTS that they let me sit in today. An M2 CS um, and a V8 M5. Stick around for the end of the video to see that. So thank you very much again, guys. I'll see you later in the next video. I'd love to do a passenger ride, like just stick someone who hates speed and roller coasters, stick them in the passenger, just let them, they're not into cars at all, just tell them this is a, an electric car, it's a nice wafter, it's a Model S Tesla, and then just like plant your foot. <laughs> I think you get some great reactions, great YouTube content. Anyway. Just, just gonna cruise now, comfy. Wind the windows down. Oh, look at that. Listen to that lovely sounding EV motor. Absolutely no sound whatsoever. The future is dead. Addictive actually, just like stop, go, stop, go, <laughs> put your foot down, brake, put your foot down, brake.